Welcome aboard Waiwera. <clears throat> As you can see, the deck has got flexi tape throughout, including side decks and the foredeck, and even the cockpit table. Very handy little reversing camera, which is very useful to keep the engine straight when you're reversing or when you're using the engines maneuvering off the berth. As you can see we've got the water heater on and off switch there, I think which is fitted on most new 895s. But I've also added a gas and carbon monoxide alarm. That's one of the sensors for that there. Fire blanket. Fire extinguisher under the step there. As you can see the steps have also been given flexi tape, which I think is quite nice. And even the navigator's side. This is a rock fitting here for the iPad which is now <coughs> in tuned to the uh, the Garmin so that that's very handy so you've actually got two screens there you can mix and match as much as you like the screen at the moment is in the docking mode so you can see the reverse camera um, some instruments and obviously the, the chart plotter marking our birthing cobs key this is also another very useful addition which is the the rock mount for the phone so I can have that permanently charging the Yamaha instrumentation and the new uh, controls which are very nice and neat neat unit with the added benefit <clears throat> that you can now have single lever control once you clear the berth you can push bring the engines to neutral push them a button and then you can just use this to control the engines and it automatically synchronizes both the engines no real changes on the 22 895 compared to previously the zip wakes have been fitted which i think are very useful much better than trim tabs and this bar of course is very useful to stop you knocking the uh, the anchor switch a couple of mods here which i've picked up from uh, various videos including offshore adventures and the rudder um, we've got in here an extra charging unit there for when i inflate the dinghy that the pump can go in there and this is a really big plus this is the Victron, uh, Victron battery monitor which uh, again is synced to my phone which is absolutely brilliant for keeping an eye on how the batteries are doing uh, a couple of other I think that's the standard fit on the, the Garmin Garmin VHF is the standard fit um, nice little unit there. Um, it's a reminder me of the tides and the markings of the anchor. This is, I think, quite a nice minor mod. It's a clock, a barometer, and the comfort meter. They all come as a set and they look quite neat up there. And being an old sea dog, it's quite nice to keep an eye on the barometric pressure. Uh, every, nothing here of any changes. Very comfortable navigator seat. Uh, I am going to put some form of chart table here. I haven't quite worked how to do it. I, I made a mark one, but that didn't look neat enough. So I'm in the process of making a mark two. Down below here, no real changes here. This, the heads, I think, is similar to others. We have got the Webasto heating, which I think is an absolute must on 895s in the UK. Standard Jabasco toilet. <coughs> it's the toolkit. Very comfortable bed, very pleased with that. Uh, and we've invested in toppers. So uh, we got those from ship shape bedding and they, they fit like a treat and highly recommend them. Give you a, a really good night's sleep. The lockers as well are a, a must. They just give you that little bit of extra room. More room on that side than on that, but a useful place for the first aid kit being someone who loves alarms I've put an additional co2 alarm in here and an additional fire alarm 
The other theme that I think is an absolute must on boats, these dry powder extinguishers give a, a, a lot of mess. This fast stick, I think, is a brilliant idea. You can get those from local chandlers. You just take it off, take the top unit off, take the bottom off, which is the striker, and then just strike the top. And, you, and you've got a, about a minute or so, I think, of, of this discharging uh, a vapour which extinguishes, smothers the fire and leaves no mess. Absolutely brilliant, very good investment. I think it was the best pile of £100, but £100 well spent. And the other good thing is you don't have to service it. I think it's good for at least five years, which is fine. <clears throat> oh, well, the other mod in the here is the, is the TV. Perhaps a luxury we don't really need, but uh, when you're fitting out a new boat, you might as well go the whole hog. Uh, and now we're into the second cabin. Again, no real changes here. I've put an additional CO2 alarm down at the bottom there. And we've put an extra power socket in here so people can charge their watches and their and their phones. Um, and in this cabin, I've just, because we're hopefully going to be on shore power when we're at marinas and things, I've put one of those in. Uh, but of course I can charge the phone all the time on the upper unit up there. Fridge is standard. <clears throat> this, these are all standard. Quite a nice, again, got it from the internet. I think an Italian chap came up with these from Amazon. Very good storage for the knife, fork and spoon. And the Ridge Monkey, that's from Offshore Adventures. A very nice little frying pan, makes toasted sandwiches. And then down here. The only sort of changes down here, you can see. I uh, rather like the rudder, I've gone for the solar panels on the roof but I've put the controller here which I think is easier than opening the lazarette every time you want to check how the uh, charging is going with the solar panels and they're not really doing an awful lot at the moment we're in bright sunshine but we're on shore power too so a very nice additional unit and I want to thank the rudder for that recommendation it's a 170 uh, watt panel on the top uh, brilliant. That's the turn off for the gas. <clears throat> there is a power po point there for ever I wanted a microwave, but I, I'd never really thought the need for one on a boat, really. And I think you just about have it. Um, other than having a look up top. So the flexi teak all the way around, I think, is a nice addition. Had it right the way around, even down the side decks there. And on top we've got the Garmin radar, the Phantom 18, which seems a very good unit. Haven't had much chance to use it yet, but uh, can feed back on that later. And that's the solar panel, which is, I say, exactly the same as the one the rudder on YouTube fitted in um, Australia searchlight I've moved that up there and the all-round white light at the top and that little aerial on the port side is the <coughs> is the TV aerial and I haven't found anything to stick on the starboard yard arm yet but I'm sure somebody may have some ideas and a horn that's uh, also essential all boys like a, I don't make a loud noise I might at some time cover the black cable with white tape just to make it mask it a bit but I can't say I'm really Anyway, very pleased with the boat, and that's about it for now. Thank you.